What's up guys, Tristan here with Team Renek Yu Gi Oh! I'm going to be starting a new series for you guys called Top 5 Cards to Invest in This Week. This is, of course, the week of July 17th. Um, these are some cards that I've been looking at in the market uh, with the new news of new cards and stuff. Um, just some things that I'm seeing. So I'm going to make this a weekly segment. Uh, definitely give me some uh, likes and comments and stuff if you like this or not. So, I mean, I'm going to do it the next couple weeks, but if I don't get any, like, good support, then I'll just stop it. But I think it's going to be a really fun segment. So uh, we'll get right into it. Uh, my first card is Air Knight Parshath. So this card, of course, is very notorious for GOAT format. But with the new uh, Fairy Structure deck coming out, uh, we have a new boss monster that can either search uh, Counter Trap cards or Parshath cards. And so right now the only Parshath cards are like Air Knight Parshath, Dark Knight Parshath, the Synchro, and then like a bigger form of Parshath or whatever. But most likely we're going to be getting more spells and traps and stuff. But depending on how the deck evolves, Air Knight Parshath itself might actually be viable in Counter Fairies, which is weird to think of, but it might be. So the two versions I would look at are the Super Rare from Dark Beginning and the Ultra Rare from its original set. So the Super Rare Dark Beginning, um, non-mint, I found one at 10 bucks on TCG, but otherwise they're around 14 to 15 And then the Ultra Rare Unlimited is $7, while the first set is $19. And all cards I'm naming are near mint. Of course you can find like lightly played, heavily played, moderate played and stuff. You can find those at cheaper prices, but for investing wise you always want to get near mint just because it keeps the cards in better condition and stuff and people want to buy it and stuff. So. Um, I think that's a really interesting card to look at. Um, just not only because you can actually use it in the deck, but also GOAT players really want that card because GOAT format, of course, is getting like a renaissance right now. Everyone wants to play it. I know everyone in my locals, people, uh, Hunter's locals up north and stuff. So I think it's a good card to invest in. Now, card number two, this is actually a whole deck to look at, and that's Infernoids. So, of course, I'm playing Infernoids right now. You guys just saw my deck profile of uh, Light Torn Infernoid. And so I was just looking on TCG, just wanted to see what the prices are at. Everything is cheap, like dirt cheap. So here's like some cards to like note, like the more prominent cards. Infernoid Deviati, Cross Souls First Edition, $3.50. Remember when that was a $20 card? Uh, Infernoid Nunku Ultimate from its first ed. Uh, that was two sixty five. Infernoid Harmodic Secrets of Eternity first ed is a dollar fifty. Infernoid Tierra Ulti is two seventy five. Infernoid Decatron is a dollar fifty first ed, and Void uh, Vanishment is a dollar fifty first ed. So a lot of these cards have never been reprinted, or else, like, the stuff like Harmodic was reprinted in Mega Pack, and then Dev Guy just got reprinted in uh, the Battles of Legend. And then like a Naku got printed in a Mega Pack. But if you get the ulti, there's only one ulti. Decatron's only been printed once. Vanishment's been only printed once. Imagination, Tierra, etc. And this deck is getting a buff in the Megatons with the release of Elder Entity Ents. So that's going to be really awesome for the deck. Um, and if Reasoning, Monster Gate, that grass looks greener. Or if they make another mill card ever comes out, Infernoids is always viable. And with the new Link mechanic, Link's, Link monsters do not have levels. So you can summon a Link monster with two of your bigger guys or something. That means you're now back to zero levels, and then there you go. You can just go to town, summon a bunch of Infernoids. So I really think uh, Infernoids are going to be really good in our new Link summoning mechanic, whatever. Um, so I definitely think like if you just want to pick up a deck for pretty cheap You could probably get three of every card on the archetype and it's gonna be under a hundred dollars Which is really really insane and it's all like it's all holographic. There's only two or three cards that are um, Not holographic and like Petrulia is OTS super it was like 85 cents So I really think this is a deck you guys should definitely invest in um, It's not gonna go any cheaper and it can only go up it might not go up next week not a month from now, not a year from now, but it's decked to definitely that has a potential to just always steal like a meta, depending on like the cards that are released and stuff. Next up for card number three, we have Toon Table Contents. So with the new uh, archetype of Magi Bullets, where when you activate a card in the column, they get a certain effect. Uh, I've seen a couple deck profiles already where they run Toon Table Contents, and I really think this is an interesting card. 
it hasn't been reprinted in about two years with Duels Pack Battle City. Two to three years now, I don't remember how long it is, but that's the last time I got reprinted. And literally every single printing of it is four or higher. But the versions I'm looking at, so there's a super rare version. It's always been expensive. It's from an old turbo pack. It's 42 for near mint, which is kind of insane. That's not an investment card. Um, the super, or you can get it like heavily played and lightly played for like 20, 25, but that's not really worth to invest. The golds are $5, the commons are fours, and then the rares from Legendary Collection Yugi and Duels Pack Battle City, those are both fours. So I really think picking through bulk and finding these and like offering people dollars and stuff, like it's a, you can't lose. Cause if Toon get more support, like if they actually get good cards, those are gonna go up to like 10 bucks a piece. And with Magic Bullets, if everyone, if that becomes like the next best deck, like it's the next zoo or whatever, you're gonna need Toon Table Contents because that's like the easiest way to just keep activating cards for free. It's thinning out your deck. Um, so I really think it's a good pickup. Um, and also it's a collector card. Like collector cards are always good. Everyone loves tunes. So I really think it's a really good card to invest in. Just get those rares and commons and even the golds. Um, supers are a little too high. I wouldn't touch the supers unless you got money to blow. So now for my next card is the Bamboo Sword archetype so we're getting a new bamboo sword i believe in circuit break it is but what it does is it's called burning bamboo sword if a bamboo sword card is activated you can skip your opponent's main phase of one so now we have bamboo swords like as an engine already was a degenerate engine of just like drawing cards that you use like with royal magical library but now we could potentially use this as an engine to just like skip your opponent's main phase one. So then they just have to go straight into battle phase. So they pretty much lose their battle phase because they can't summon anything. So now they're in main phase two. So I think this is a really interesting card. Um, the other bamboo swords are commons, but they've only been printed once and they're old as dust. So let's see, the first one is just the regular broken bamboo sword. It's at 275 for the unlimited and $3 for the first dead. So those are near mint. And then the golden bamboo sword is three dollars for unlimited and about three fifty to four dollars for the first. So if you can find these in bulk and like again offer people dollars on them, it's a really safe and like good pickup because you never know if like this combo just becomes like relevant where you're activating this draw two and then like skip your opponent's main phase one. If that becomes like a relevant engine, these cards can become five to ten dollar commons just because they have not been printed in over five years which is absolutely insane so i wouldn't go out and buy these like necessarily unless you can get them for really really good deals but like on tcg there's a bunch of them they're just all lightly played because it's such an old card and then finally for our fifth card we have limiter removal so before making this video i had a different card here but with the announcement of the new tcg archetype the fas and all their effects and what they are and stuff i think lemon removal is a very good pickup so they're all machine monsters and they're battle based what is lemon removal it's a machine card and it's battle so uh the cards or the versions i would look up is uh the hobby league and the ultra from legendary collection the Hobby League right now is about five bucks for mint, and then the Ultra is about a buck twenty-five for first set mint. So I think this is a really good investment card because it always it had the potential to come back to two, but maybe not because machines have always been OTK based. But if the FAs become relevant, like this first wave of support is not the best, but it definitely has potential. And so I think with this card right away it can help you get your monsters like 3600 attack and that's really freaking good so i think it's a pretty good card to look into um it's not the worst like there's always there's also cyber dragon support coming out in the, the legendary dragon duelist box thing or whatever we're getting a new cyber dragon card so i really think like limit removal it's you're not going to lose money on the card so uh, yeah so just for a recap it's air knight parshath Infernoids, Toon Table of Contents, uh, the Bamboo Sword cards, and then Limit Removal. If you can find those cards for good deals, I highly suggest that you pick them up. And yeah, so I uh, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more of these videos, definitely uh, click that thumbs up button, uh, subscribe, comment, everything. Uh, the supports, um, it really means a lot. Uh, I want to make this a weekly segment for you guys. Um, I think the concept is really cool. 
But uh, yeah, I will see you next time.